Fox News is now confirming the existence of the Comey memo first reported by the New York Times last night, recounting when President Trump allegedly asked the then FBI director to shut down the investigation into his former national security advisor, Michael Flynn. The White House vehemently denying there was any intimidation. Now committees in both houses are gearing up for what is already a tsunami of subpoenas, requests, and hearings. Here to discuss the champion of freedom of national information, of information act, rather, Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton. Tom, thanks for joining us. Hey, welcome. Thanks for having me. Uh, golly, I, I'm almost not even sure where to start with this, but you were pretty active today, and you caught my eye by suggesting, hey, Comey, uh, everyone's saying the guy writes these, uh, these memos, and they're detailed, and he's been doing it. Why not have the, the administration just have all his memos made public? Is that something you think uh, could happen? Well, that would be the shocking thing to do here in Washington, which is just to release the information. Uh, you know, these notes or memos or whatever the document is, uh, presuming it, it exists, is being characterized uh, by a third party. And uh, so let's get the document out there, see what the context is, see what Comey actually said or wrote, and uh, then make some judgment calls based on that. Uh, but we can't just rely on anonymous sources reading a document to reporters uh, to make uh, uh, leaps of logic that there was obstruction of justice or there's a necess necessity for impeachment. It's just absurd. And, and, you know, but frankly here, this is just part of a pattern. You had uh, illicit surveillance of the Trump team. You had unmasking that was probably illicit and illegal. You certainly had illegal leaks of classified material. And now you have these secret memos that are being uh, spoon-fed to uh, antagonists of President Trump in the media in a way to make it seem like he did something wrong. Uh, let's get all the information out, and if, if I were advising President Trump, I'd tell him just released not only this memo, but all the other Comey memos. Right. Heck, he was FBI director for four years. Did he do memos about the tarmac meeting between uh, Bill Clinton and uh, Loretta Lynch? Other memos and, and details that we want information on? Uh, I think the context is important, and getting all the information out is as, as quickly as Tom possible is the key Let me uh, jump in here for one second because we have some breaking news and I want your opinion on it. Just now breaking, uh, Deputy Attorney General Rod Ro Rosenstein announced today the appointment of former DOJ official and FBI Director Robert Mueller to serve as special counsel to oversee the previously confirmed FBI investigation of Russian government inf uh, efforts to influence the 2016 presidential election and related matters. What, what are your comments on, what are your initial thoughts on this? Well, I just hope there's an emphasis on the related matters because it seems to me there isn't any collusion to be investigating. Uh, this is an investigation. Uh, uh, this is a political witch hunt uh, that has the patina of an FBI investigation and a Justice Department investigation begun under the prior administration, uh, really uh, giving it more legs than it actually has. The crimes we're aware of are illegal leaks of classified material. Uh, the unmaskings are the troubling aspect. We've had testimony, we've had repeated uh, uh, confirmation through sworn testimony that there was no collusion between uh, President Trump, his campaign, and the Russians. What is it they're investigating? And if they're investigating Russian connections between political operatives and Russia uh, business uh, concerns or government concerns, why is it seemingly only focusing on people close to Trump and no right. one close to Clinton? If Mueller uh, does the typical establishment approach, it will be a disaster. But if his, uh, if his, uh, if his purview is broad and he actually looks at what he needs to be looking at, which are the classified leaks and the unmasking and the surveillance, uh, we may finally get some answers. Well, to, to further uh, the, the news here, uh, Mueller will have all the powers of, as a U.S. attorney here, uh, also be able to uh, impanel grand juries. Also, which is critical, I think, uh, Rosenstein will be the acting AG on this since um, we, we recall that Sessions has recused himself from Russian investigation. Now, you've been sort of critical of the FBI and, and maybe the notion that all of this Comey news is, is something, uh, something akin to retaliation. And, and do you think at this point, Tom, the FBI is more part uh, of the deep state uh, out to get perhaps Donald Trump or protect their turf? Or is it really still a legitimate intelligence gathering operation working on behalf of the American public? 
Look, I have, I have confidence there are line agents who want to do the right thing. I don't have confidence in the leadership of the FBI. Comey was just one leader in the FBI. I'm concerned about Comey holdovers there. After he was fired, the Washington Post reported uh, that there were FBI people telling the Post that we have, we're not going to forget this and we're going to strike back. Uh, so you have implicit retaliation threatened against the president for firing Comey by FBI officials speaking anonymously to the Washington Post. And lo and behold, we have these records somehow spirited out of the FBI or read, in, read uh, to reporters, obviously in a way to make Mr. Trump look bad. Well, hopefully uh, we'll get some uh, help on the leaking because that's a, a, a serious aspect to this that uh, somehow key, continues to be overlooked by constantly uh, changing headlines. Tom, thank you very much. Really appreciate your time tonight.